Hi, Ryan from Siegel.com. Here to set up the new Sailcat today. We'll start with some one-time assembly steps to get you out on the water quicker. You only need two adjustable wrenches. Lay out your floorboard so you can read the no standing on the fabric. You'll be standing at the rear of the boards. Grab your seat base and place it on the four drilled holes with a quick release pointing forward. You'll secure it with a wing nut. Locate your lee board bracket and attach to the bottom of your floorboard. The bolts and the washers will be on top and secure hand tight on the bottom. Next, you grab your wrenches and tighten those down. Okay, now the floor is ready. We'll move on to the next step. Now attach your mass step base to your front cross bench. Align the holes. You can use your mass step to assure a proper alignment. We'll put on the bolts hand tight and then tighten them down with our wrenches. Once you have them all tightened down, you can remove the mass step. You can also attach the optional motor mount at this time. Roll out your pontoons so they're pointed in the same direction. The Seagull logo and valves will be on the front and to the outside. Grab your cross bench and place on top of the pontoons. You can adjust your pontoons if necessary. Next, feed the fabric beads into the plastic hooks. Align the bench until it's centered on the bead. Locate the rear bench and place so the rud lock holes are to the back edge. If you're finding it difficult, a little water on the bead will help it slide easier. Doing these few steps at home will save you more time later for sailing. Hi, Ryan again. Now the one-time assembly is done, we're down at the beach. The rest of the setup should take about 20 minutes. Next, place the underbars under the cross benches, meeting in the middle of the pontoon. You'll grab your sleeve, place it on one, and adjust back to the middle. Your front underbar should just be touching the seam. Grab your Sea Eagle foot pump, attach the threaded end into the out port. On the other end, we have the recessed adapter. Remove the cap and press the stem down with a quarter turn to the left until it pops up. This will allow your chamber to retain air. Next, put your adapter in with a turn to the right until it's fully seated. Seagull has a line of electric pumps that make it even easier to inflate your boat. With your pontoons at 75%, ensure the underbars are aligned with the seams. Lay out your floorboards and attach the rear nuts. The neural nuts will be on top. This will allow you to make adjustments to the front bench. If you can't insert your bolts through the floorboards and cross bench, make any necessary adjustments now. Once you're there, secure with the washer and the bolt on the bottom and the neural nut on the top. Continue inflation 
until you're at the optimal 3.2 pounds per square inch. Next, install your rudder or lock. It goes to the rear of your cross bench, and there are two pre-drilled holes, secure with your neural nuts on the bottom. Next, attach the lead board to the lead board bracket. A washer and wing nut will go on the outside. Next, grab the mast step with the metal loop towards the rear and place it in the four holes of the mast space, secure with the large washers and neural nuts. Next, we'll assemble our three-piece mast. Remember, the largest diameter goes at the base. Next, lay out your sail and insert your mass into the mass sleeve. Insert the batten into the batten sleeve and tie it off to the grommet on the sail. Locate the boom and extend it. It'll telescope out to about 88 inches. Next, slide the black plastic fitting, this is for your main sheet, down to the other button. Place a boom over the mast step with the ring here and the loop down. Next, we're going to step the mast. First, we want to look overhead to make sure there's no wires or power lines. This can be done with one person, though it's easier with two. Next, tie the boom to the sail. The remaining short rope will go through the grommet on the free end of the sail and through the box cleat. Take your oar handle and slide on the oar pin. We'll place that through the rope and insert the oar pin into the rud lock, securing with the ring. Next, snap together your oar. and you can tighten. Next, grab your main sheet. Take the brass fitting closest to the knot and attach it onto the rope on the rud lock. The next fitting will come up and attach to the boom on the black fitting. The remaining rope fed through the white ring, the oar lock, and placed on the floor. Next, just slide on your seats. For temporary storage, you can furl the sail.
You can leave your boat inflated or deflate it for easy transportation. This is Ryan from Seagull.com. See you on the water.